my night to celebrate uh, me getting out from under all this work. Okay. Great. I love you. I love you. Daddy, love him. I love you. Love you. Bye. Oh, come here. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Why don't you first time to be special? You made it special. Your skin is so beautiful. It's like you're lit from the inside. I want to adopt another baby. What? Absolutely not. If you do this, it'll have very serious consequences. You cannot have as many children as you do and give them all affection. That's not true. Giving a home to as many kids as I can is, is my raison d'etre. Right. It, it, it's my job. Well, it is, it's my job to pay for them all. But that's unfair. I don't ask you for anything. You're the one who's always bringing presents for Dylan. And where does this leave me? You, you cannot ignore how I feel. I, you know, I have all I can handle right now with, with the work that I have and keeping up with the children I've already got. I do care how you feel. I love you. And one of the reasons I've loved being with you for 11 years is you've let me be who I am. I don't want to lose you. So even if it doesn't make any sense to you, can't we find a way to be happy together? Well, you have changed my life. And, you know, I do want to be closer to Satchel. I guess you know, I would feel better about you adopting if we could unify the family we've already got. What do you mean? Well, if you, if you would let me adopt Dylan and, you know, I mean, Moses too, you know, then all the children would have a father. And I've already talked to my lawyer about this. Uh, you, you know, we could divide the estate equally between Dylan, Satchel, and Moses. And as it stands right now, they would each get about $5 million. Okay. And with royalties and residuals, uh, yeah. they'd be set for life. Mm -hmm. Then you wouldn't have to worry. Mm -hmm. I would like to propose a toast to Satchel's father, who, as of today, became the official father of Dylan O'Sullivan Farrell and Moses Amadeus Farrell. Mr. Woody Allen. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Uh, uh, uh. No! Hey, hey, no! Hey. No! Oh, Basket, it'll break your arm! Damn it, Satchel! Mommy! Let me see. Let me see. Mommy, mommy! Why'd you do that? Come here, Tommy! Okay, you look after the camera, Moses. You're back in the shape. I'll be in the camera truck. This back is open this way. I'll marry you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. having an affair. How do you know? It's in the script. He cast me as a boring, manipulative, passive-aggressive wife while he's playing the cheating husband who's fooling around with a college girl. Infidelity, a subject with which I am all too familiar. Why did you put up with it? Seven good reasons. You were one of them. Mother, what should I do? Don't make accusations unless you've got the goods. Men loathe hysterical women. 
so don't do anything crazy. What did you do to yourself? You know damn well I hate it. You look ready for Little League. Happy birthday. How was the party? That's what this is about? Because you didn't get invited? Hey, I'm here, aren't I? So, do you feel like 50? You sure don't look it. Didn't I explain it ten times? It was more her party than mine. Nancy planned it, the whole bit with the president. She's the mother of my children. We were married 12 years. It would have been a slap in her face to have you there, capiche? Frank, what are you getting so upset for? I, I'm not upset. Change is good. I, I just got tired of fooling around with my hair. Why oh, put time into something? Why do your producers get a load of your new look? Maybe I'll get lucky and be fired. No. Nothing is forever. Well, baby, you don't need me to get attention. I'll give you that. What else will you give me? I'm very hard to please. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. How hard? Tonight, if you would have yelled, I would have been out of here. You make me want to protect you. That's dangerous. I gotta watch out for you. A security blanket. What did you do? Rob a bank? <laughs> no, you remember that Japanese commercial I made? They made mm -hmm. me seven million dollars, oh. and I thought I would uh, spread the wealth. Dinner's ready. Oh, I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. I... You say thank you. Thank you. I, I, my God, you, 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 you gave me this, uh, this amazing check. You, mm -hmm. you, you played chess with Moses. You, you made a modeling appointment for Suni. Mm -hmm. I... Darling, you, you're really getting into the Christmas spirit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. When Woody Allen's office called, I said I was only too happy to see you. We'd love to work with your father. He's fantastically talented. He's not my father. No. No, but you're right. Her father is talented. He's Andre Previn. Okay. Let's start with the basics. How old are you? When I adopted Suni, the orphanage was unsure of her exact age. She's either 19 or, or 21, so... I guess you can put down either one. And we know she'll need pictures. 
Okay, this is very good. This is unbelievable. Make that smile, though. Could you give me, like, a smile? That's it. That's a smile? Okay, I'm gonna, now I'm going to click it. Here it is. One, two, three. Okay. Now try try another one. This is, no, this is, this is very... Oh, that's... Oh, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me just put it... Good. And smile, though. Don't, yeah, give me your best come hither look. Hmm. <laughs> and. Good. All right, now just lie back and give me your most erotic pose. <clears throat> Good. This is, this is perfect. Unbelievable. This is, it's very, did it get warm in here? Oh. That was very good. have this marvelously funny way of saying things. Of course, I rewrote it slightly. So, when you and your friends see the movie, you can say, I uttered that fabulously witty line, and Woody wrote it down. It'll be very, 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 very important. Oh, game's over. Better get you home. Who won? Oh, who cares? Moses will. All right, I'll, I'll find out now. Come on, get up, 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 up. I don't want to have to go through a whole litany of explanations with your mother. I want to stay. No. Please. No. I can tell Mia I'm at one of my girlfriend's house. Oh, yeah, and then she calls to remind you to floss, and you're not there, and then all hell breaks loose. Mm-hmm. You're no fun at all. No, I'm a, I'm a lot of fun. I'm a barrel of fun. But infidelity can be a minefield. Now, come on. Up, 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 up. Would you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Would you get up, please? That doesn't look like up to me. <coughs> all right. The Knicks beat the Trailblazers 120 to 88. Come on, Sumi, put those away. Sumi, let's go. Okay. Come on. Now, they shot 68% in the second half, and they were 90% from the line. Here, memorize this, and then you eat it. All right? Hi. Hi. How was the game? Ugh, oh, it was a rout. Uh, what was the score? 120 to 88. They scored 68% in the second half, and they scored 90% from the line. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a real fan, huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Want some uh, milk? Huh? Okay. Who do they play? The Trail Riders. The Trail Blazers. I knew it. What do you told you all that stuff? Lighten up, Moses. Listen, is Dylan still awake? No, of course not. Nearly midnight. Yeah. I think, okay, you know, I'm going to go check on her anyway. Oh, uh, don't, don't eat them all. Moses had to take some to school. Oh, I'm so hungry. Mm. Thank you. Look at you. Seems like yesterday you were this waif, and now here you are, a college girl. I'm so happy you and Woody have gotten to be friends. Well, I guess if you give someone a chance, you can learn things from them you never imagined. When, when you finally choose somebody to love, I hope it's somebody close to your own age, so you can be equals, share the same interests. I want you to have Someone you can build a life with, have a family with, grow old with. I, I was always attracted to older men. Now I, I think that was a mistake.
Frank called me and said we're getting married in Vegas. Get on a plane. Would you mind zipping me up? It's all happening so fast. You know, he wouldn't even let me call my mother. Thanks. I, I, I can't get married without calling my mother. Frank wanted me to call you, Miss Jean. You don't get the great love of his life. Ava, honey. He's getting married to me in a few minutes. He didn't want you to find out from nobody else. <laughs> I always knew he'd end up in bed with a little boy. I now pronounce you man and wife. I love you, Charlie Brown. This is the happiest day of my life. I'll always take care of you, though, Face. Hey, Frank, are you going to put me in your movie? We're planning on having kids. Where are you going on your honeymoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be doing any movies together, Frank? Where are you be living? Hey, hey, hey. My bride. Mia, are you going to work with Frank? Will you be continuing your acting career? Hell no. I'm a career now. My baby and I are going to live happily ever after. Well, this not just going to work. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Smokey the Bear was supposed to be here tonight. You all know Smokey, that's Sammy Davis. <laughs> but he couldn't make it. He has an opening of his own down in Watts. It's a gas station. He calls it Whitey's. He sells three kinds of gas, regular, ethyl, and burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Let's see, what else is new? Oh, yeah, I got married. She's here. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't she pretty? Yeah, I sure got married. Well, you see, I had to. I finally found a broad I can cheat on. <laughs> I'm in a lot of trouble. Hurry, honey. Dr. Coates is waiting. Don't even wait for your shrink. I want to go to the park. Well, maybe we'll go and stop at the swings on the way home, okay? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Central. again. to his room and keep him there. So I have to try. I, I need to do, get your father on the phone. Mom, what's the matter? What, what? I don't know. I feel like killing somebody. What happened? Woody's molested Sunni. 
What? Look at these. What have you got to say for yourself? Are you proud? Would you like to see these on the front page of the New York Times? Tell me you're sorry. At least say you're ashamed. Maybe, maybe God will, will help me understand, because I want to hear you say it! I want to hear you say it! Well, you didn't just bite the hand that feeds you. You cut it off! His son. Yeah. Moses, come here. I got something to tell you. You're not going to believe this, but would... Yes, yes, I'm still holding. That's right, Previn. P-R-E-V-I-N. And tell him it's an emergency. Thank you. Woody and... Does that have something to do with Suni? Yeah. What, you knew? How could I tell? I wasn't exactly sure... Was... I mean, I didn't want to say anything to hurt Mom. I didn't know what to do. Or who am I going to ask? Not my father. My father's Woody. One of my sister. Get my stun gun. Don't even think about it. Come on, come here. Come on. Come on. Wait, wait for Andre. Get out of our house. Calm I don't down. want you anywhere yeah. near us. Would you just calm down? You're going to scare the children. Oh, well, it's a bit late to be concerned about the children, isn't it? Since you've been screwing around with one of them. Don't worry. Are you okay? Go, go, go stay with, with Lark. It, it's okay. Be okay, Mom. Be okay. Mama! Come on, we'll go play with the guys. I love Suni. I, I intend to marry her. Fine. Fine. Well, just, just take her. Just take her and leave. And just go now! Take her? What, what do you mean? I mean, go in her room, have her pack everything she owns, and move her into your apartment until your wedding. Until my wedding? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I, I think we're being a little hasty. I, you know, I, after all, I, you know, I love you, and I, I am in love with you. I am, and you I don't think that You say anything! Soon. You're a psychopathic liar! You weren't having sex with me because you were with her. You know, I just, I think I made a terrible mistake. I, listen, I think we should try to use this incident as a way to deepen our relationship. I, I mean, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. I, uh, I think we have to try to work it out for the, for the sake of the children. This out? Are you serious, you son of a bitch? What is left of me? You've broken me. I, I, I'm in a thousand pieces. What is there left? Mama, are you okay in there? Yes, Fletcher. Okay, Dad will be calling back any minute. Thank you, darling. Wait, wait a minute. You called Andre? I don't know. What are you, what are you trying to do? You're trying to humiliate me? What, what's he going to do? He's going to come after me with a shotgun? You cannot, you can't, you can't tell him. Watch me. Mama, I'll be out here if you need me. Will you get away from the door? Hey, don't you tell me what to do. You can't tell him. You, you, you know what will happen if this comes out? You, you know what will happen to your career if this goes public? But you, just, you, you know, you're worried about everybody taking you as a, a serious actress, and then you're going to turn this into a huge sideshow. I don't keep dirty little secrets like you. And as for scandal, Woody, you made your bed. Could Suni be pregnant? No. Uh, when we were, <coughs> I was, uh, I was very careful. How did you manage that? No, 
Well, don't tell me. I... Please spare me the details. I feel sick. What a nightmare. Uh, I was afraid you were having an affair, but I never could have imagined this. How long has it been going on? Uh, not that long. I, I thought that it would be good for her. Are you... are you out of your mind? He, you are. But you are out of your mind. How in God's name could this be good for Suni? She, she, she was a virgin! I think that it helped her confidence. I think uh, it helped her self-esteem to have a little experience. Oh, you're a little experience, all right. You, you taught her how to lie, to, to sneak around, to, to betray her mother, her, her whole family. You're the girlfriend from Bloomingdale's. How could I have been so stupid? This, this has been going on since you made that Bette Midler movie. It wasn't a Bette Midler movie. It was a Paul Mazursky movie. Oh, just, 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 just shut up! Just shut up and get out! Mom, it's Andre. Don't tell Andre. Don't, please. Please. Please do Andre. not tell him. You're going to humiliate Andre, me. Please. He's having an He's affair not with Suni. He took Why are you doing pornographic that? nude Stop. pictures of her that they're disgusting. Oh, my God. She's just out of high school. Tell him to get out of the apartment. Tell him I told you to call the police. Anything. Just get him away from my children. Get out! Look, I had no intention of you ever finding out. You mean you're not as good a liar as you thought? I, well, no, I didn't want to hurt you, for God's oh, sake. So, so that's why you left the disgusting pictures on the map no, for me to find. No, no. So you're cruel. Yeah, you're cruel, yeah, yeah. and you took all my love, and then and then you took my child. You you violated my trust. You, you betrayed your children. There is nothing you can do or say that will ever change that. And you, you, you go to hell for all I care. I never want to see you again.
trying to find out what's going on like the rest of us. What's the matter with you? I'm afraid. Mom will forgive you. She knows it's Woody's fault. No, it's not Woody's fault. I was there too. I wanted to be with him. I love him. Just tell Mom you're sorry. Remember when she got divorced from Dad? She was mad at him for a month. Now they're friends again. That's different. When you have kids with the person, you're stuck with them. Especially if they pay for half the kids' bills. Woody! I got here as fast as I could. Has your mother still in the bath, huh? You called him? You better get him out of here. Take me home with you, Woody, please. No, no, no. Just, just be calm down. Everything's gonna be fine. This whole thing is gonna blow over, all right? But I'm afraid. Uh, yes, I know. Mm. What if Mia kicks me out? I'm gonna be homeless. No, no, no you're not gonna be homeless. This is, you, you're gonna go back. You're gonna go back to college in a few days. You're going back to school next week, and I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> maybe it would be better for everyone concerned if you went to stay at a friend's house. Why can't I stay with you? And not me. No, me is crazy right now. And, and, you know, I still gotta finish a picture with her. And and Liz, we have to be extremely, extremely discreet because if this story were to get out, if some reporter were to write this story, I would be in terrible, terrible trouble. Do you understand that? No, you you understand what I'm saying, you? Huh? Yeah? Hmm? Yeah. Good girl. Anybody like uh, tomatoes? I love pizza. Me too. Mama, why does Sydney want to kill herself? Oh, Daisy, Dylan, you darling. Just... Don't, don't worry, honey. Your sister's going to be okay. Come on, Fletcher. You have to take, take the pizza to the room. Dylan? Fletcher, please. Let's go eat now. You. How dare you come back here and, and sit down for dinner? I, would, would you just leave us alone? I'm trying to talk to Daddy. Daisy, Mommy yelled at me. Look what you made me do. You know, you come in here and act as if nothing's happened. Hi, Mia. How was your day? Well, aside from finding out Woody took pornographic pictures of my daughter and her virginity. I still love you. Oh, don't of saying that to me, you hypocrite. Now just get the hell out of here and don't ever come back. No, no, we have got to get past this. Maybe not today, you know, but, but sometime we will get we will get through this for, for the sake of the children. You stole my child. You treat Suni like a child. She's not. She's a young woman. Whom you set up as my rival. And maybe, maybe you'd like us to compete for you in some some sexual Olympics. Or, or is it your ultimate goal to have us both in bed at once? Maybe, maybe we'll have a foursome. You can call my sister Steffi. You can deny that we have had a sexless relationship for years. What you did with Sumi wasn't about sex. It, 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 it was about writing. Writing? You slept with Sumi to see what would happen. I, I bet you were taking notes. What, are you crazy? You think it's a coincidence in Husbands and Wives that your character is obsessed with a college girl at the same time you're sleeping with one? And in both cases, I'm playing the wife. You're, you're a neurotic, menopausal elitist. How can you make shrewd social observations from the balcony of your penthouse? What can you see from up there besides, besides doormen and, and pigeons? To think I've been paying for analysis all these years. <laughs> you write relationships that romanticize emotional abuse, but you think you're above having to pay the piper. You don't give God credit for existing, but you keep playing him. What, have you asked yourself what you could have possibly done that turned me to sue me? Oh, you have the nerve to say this could be my fault? How? Because you, you alienated me. You alienated me by ignoring yes, my feelings yes. and adopting more children. No, no, we had an agreement. We had no agreement. Besides, like you that. don't live with them. Yes. You, you know, you're I not there at 3 in the morning when they've got nightmares or temperatures or... I am there every day. I practically subsidize them. Uh, wait a minute. You you pay part for your kids, but you don't pay you know anything what, you for mine. You're, you're, you're a junkie. You're addicted to babies. You know, at least That's, I don't sleep babies. with them. Oh. You were the one that insisted that I that I pay more attention to Suni. You wanted her, you wanted her to substitute for you so that you wouldn't have to do all the things that you used to like doing with me. Oh, including sex? Yes, including sex. You used to adore yeah, me. Yeah, well, see where it got me. 
like Suni adores me now. Listen, when you have time to put this in perspective, you realize that what I did is not as heinous as you think. It came, it came out of loneliness, hers and mine. If you think you haven't done anything wrong, tell Dylan what you did to Suni. She, uh, come on, she wouldn't understand. But she will someday. And you have that to look forward to. a lunatic. He raped my daughter! You were an angel to come in. Hey, I was worried about you. But you have been on a real emotional roller coaster. Oh, no. I'll be okay. You know, the, the, the doctor gave me some pills, so... Where the hell did I go wrong? Come on. Soon you can't do anything about her birth mother, who she hates. So she takes it out on you. The mother she loves. Oh. Woody. Woody says it. I'm... I'm not a good mother. Why are you listening to him? You didn't cheat on him. You didn't lie to him. You didn't betray him. What else didn't I do? Why wasn't Woody afraid to go after my daughter? <laughs> Mia. He refuses to admit he's done anything wrong. Well, it is an incest. I don't know what you call it. Woody has been like a father to Suni since she was 10. You don't sleep with the kid he took to the zoo. Well, I, I know Woody seduced her. Not, not the other way around. No, no, no. She has jeopardized your job. She knows you only work for Woody. And where's Suni's head? Where's her heart? Thanks again for coming. Uh, I'm sorry I can't walk you to the train. I've got to be on set in an hour. How am I going to face him? Woody Allen is a moral dwarf. You've held your own against much tougher customers. Frank Sinatra, please. your agent. Oh, you know how excited I am about working with you, darling. I, I, I can't do both. You know, I'll, I'll be finished with this before the detective even starts. You're both. If you think I'm gonna follow orders like one of your flunkies, then you're crazy. You're the crazy one if you think I'd let you waltz off with that horny long hair. Have you seen the blood and guts crap he tries to pass off as art? The guy's a pervert! Given me the lead in the best script I've ever read, and I, I want to do it. I told you, I'd never share a wife and her acting career like I did with Ava. All you ever think about is Ava. Even your mother likes her better. Well, you can all go to hell. Mia! 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 Listen, Belle I adore you. Can't you see? I am a career. No wife of mine's got to work. I get paid more for a performance than the damn Beatles. 
But... What? You... You thought I was attracted to Roman, but... I'm not. Just because you do something doesn't mean I do it, too. What are you talking about? Don't you think I... I know about your little fling in Miami? I could never be with anyone but you. I'd never do anything to hurt you. This marriage means too much to me. waiting for you. What's the matter? Frank's divorcing me. They, they just gave me the papers. The worst thing is, he didn't even tell me himself. You know, it's like I got fired. Would you like to go home? Hmm? I can shoot around you. No. No. Just give me a minute, okay? No matter what, I can always act. No. No. Why? Because it's over. You know it. I know it. All that stuff, you know, those memories, it, the bits and pieces you you tuck away and embroider during dinner conversations, they're just isolated moments, you know? It, it, they don't tell the whole story. Cut. Cut. Um. going to stay with your friend not Woody if that's what you're thinking you don't have to leave you know I forgive you well I don't forgive you you think I'm your slave what no 
No, I don't. I, I've loved you with all of my heart from, from the first moment that I saw you. I moved heaven and earth to adopt you. You are such a phony. You don't give a damn about me. Where are you getting these ideas? Oh, please, not Woody. Woody makes me feel beautiful. I love him more than you do. You don't really want him. You just use him. You don't know what he needs. Isn't it a little naive to think that you could know more about what he needs in your 12 minutes with him than I could know in a 12-year relationship? I think the person who's sleeping with the person is the one who's having the relationship. You're the one who's naive. I've been seeing him my whole senior year of high school. How could you? I've done everything for you. I care about you. You've had the best schools, the best tutors. If it weren't for me, you'd be in a shoe factory or, or working the streets. You're right. I learned everything from you. You always take what you want. You took Andre from his wife. You betrayed me. What is wrong with you? You want to know what's wrong with me? Look in the mirror! Sydney. Sydney. You think you can intimidate me? I am going to take those children away from you, and you're going to be left with nothing. You guys keep waking us up with your stupid phone calls. Stop it. We're tired. Find somewhere else to fight. Woody, you knew I'd never have let you adopt Dylan and Moses if I'd have known you were sleeping with their sister. Look, I want visitation by something. Your mother slapped you around to control you, and now you've got to control women. Is that why you left those disgusting pictures out for me to find? Can we just stick to the point? Oh, which which we point? The, the only thing you and Suni have in common is you both hate your mothers. You want to talk to our lawyers? Fine. That's what we'll ooh, talk to our ooh, lawyers. power, power. It's all about power. How you have it and I don't. Hail King Woody, meal ticket of New York. Everybody in the industry kisses your ass. Well, no wonder you think you're entitled to take anything you want. You've had your sacrificial virgin. What are you going to do with her now? I, who knows? Who knows how Suni's going to feel? Maybe I'm just a footnote in her life. Yeah, and who's going to pick up the pieces when you dump her? That is so ugly. Oh, oh okay, okay. I, I'm so, I'm sorry. I... May, maybe you didn't consider yourself Suni's father. Maybe you did believe it, it was all over between us. But for one flickering instant, when you and my daughter were, were lying there together, naked, I... Did, didn't you wonder what would Mia think of this? Didn't you have a single moment when you felt this, this is wrong? No. You would have felt more or less the same way if you'd been my secretary or an actress. No! No, you you cannot be that unconscious! The heart wants what it wants. The heart. Well, you don't have one. I, I'd look a little lower. Fine. You need you need little girls for sexual stimulation. You can't get it up with me, so you use my daughter as a turn-on. Or or is it just easier with a virgin, Woody, because you don't have to measure up? I did not force myself on Suni. She wanted me. For what? To help her career? So I revived yours. Will you stay away from Suni? You're just gonna hurt her. You know you don't love her. You're so jealous. Why shouldn't I be? 
I still want you. I'll give her up. It'll be best for the kids. Prove that you mean it. I thought I just did. All that you've proved is you're willing to sleep with both of us. Or that it's in your best interest to placate me. What do you want? Marry me. You're gonna marry her to calm her down? No, 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 you'll never come to that. Listen to me, Mia, Mia's lost her mind. She, she's taking antidepressants, she's drinking, she's making threats. It, it, it's, it's putting too much pressure on the children. I've got to protect them. She, she even told my parents that I raped you. I guess some people could see it that way. What? I mean, everyone's making such a fuss about how old I really am. I only slept with Mia because I had to. You, you're the one that I love. And, and if you love me, you will, you will call her on the phone right now and tell Mia how happy you are that she and I are back together. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't cry. Now, come on. She's, you, come on. You said you'd do anything for me. Remember? Yes, you did. You said that. You would do anything for me. You said that. And uh, can you tell what I'm thinking right now? Actually, here, look. Look, you can just see. I'm thinking, can you feel that? Huh? Yeah, you can. I know you can. Come on. Come on. I know you can. I can, I can also, uh, there's something else I'd like to show you, actually, right over here. I think you would really kind of like it. Okay, get your doll and come right back out. And if your father's there, make sure he knows you conned me into this. I would have called first. Daddy isn't home. He's always at work. That was Suni. Nice of her to call me. She sends her a love to you all. Is she coming for dinner? No, sweetie. She's at school. No, she's not. She's a daddy. I feel so betrayed. Since I fell in love with Frank, I I'm never off the front page. My life is everyone's breakfast news. I, I feel like I'm being suffocated. I've made my face a stigma. Through meditation, you will And now it's, it's even worse with the divorce. There's nowhere left on earth to hide. That's, that's why I came to India. My whole life is falling apart, and I, I, I gotta find some inner peace or, or I'll go crazy. God will take care of you. Maharishi, help me connect with my inner self.
I need you to send this telegram to Frank Sinatra. Set up with meditation and leaving ashram will phone from Delhi Mia. I can't send this. Why? Every telephone operator in India will know about it. The papers will get a hold of it, and it could really damage the Maharishi's mission. Come on, Maharishi's no saint. He said he was going to perform a puja. Instead, he made a pass. What? Yeah, he, he, he was touching me. That's part of the puja. No offense, but I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. I'm from Hollywood, and I know a pass from a puja. I want out of here. Look. I know he singled you out, but when other celebrities are around, it'll take the pressure off you, and they're going to be here tomorrow. Who? I was going to call, but you were in uh, India and my schedule then. I know. So did you get enlightened? I guess I found out I didn't need him to teach me about love power. You know, divorce is against my religion. Is there any way? Is there any chance we could? Why didn't you take the dough? I would have given you a million bucks. It's not enough. What else do you want? You wouldn't take the house. You walk away with your clothes. Your animals and your grandmother's rocking chair? That's all you want? Keeping you in my life, Charlie Brown, is worth much more to me than money. Like I said, you are dangerous. <laughs> 